Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be 30 random facts about myself, so you will get to know me a little better. And I was actually tagged by my good friend here on YouTube, Gina. And Gina, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce your last name because I'm pretty sure I'm going to butcher it, but I was tagged by my friend, Gina. And you guys, Gina is so sweet. I love her. She has a lot of couponing videos over on her channel. I look up to her when it comes to couponing. And I think, Gina, you should just come to Georgia and take me along to go shopping with you so you can teach me all of your tips and tricks. She also has a love for Dollar Tree. And you guys know I love Dollar Tree. I love doing my hauls. I love doing DIY from Dollar Tree. And I think that's why I love her so much because we have so much in common. So like I said, she's so sweet. Believe me, guys, you will love her. So head over to her channel and please just show her some love. I'm going to leave the links down below to her channel and also her 30 random facts video so you can go get to know her and subscribe to her channel. So let's now just jump right into my 30 random facts about myself. And I did write it all down in my computer because I was going to try to memorize everything, but I knew I would forget something or I would repeat something more than once. So I did write them all down and I promise I'm going to try to go through this as fast as possible because I know I like to talk and ramble on. So let's just jump right into my 30 random facts about myself. So fact number one is I grew up in an all girl home. It was me, my mom, my sister, and then we did live with my grandma for quite some time. So it was an all girl home and I loved it. That leads into fact number two is that I grew up in a single parent home. My mom was a single parent to me and my sister. And I just want to give a shout out and kudos to all the single parents, whether you're a single father or a single mother. It is a lot of hard work. I saw my mom work so hard. She was going to school and working full time trying to provide and support me and my sister. So I look up to my mom for that. I think she is superwoman. Fact number three is I have a fear of heights and spiders. There's other little insects that I'm scared of and don't like, like roaches and snakes and stuff like that. But spiders is probably the one that I'm mostly scared of, like terrified of. If I see a spider near me, I may not know you, but I will jump on you to get away from that spider. I don't know what it is about spiders, but I'm just really terrified of them. And then also heights. I've always been scared of heights since I was a little girl. And it's really hard for me to even get on rides because I'm so scared of heights. And I've only been on one Ferris wheel my entire life. And that was probably like two years ago. I went on a huge um, Ferris wheel in Georgia. They have like this one that's like all closed in and has like air conditioning and stuff. And my husband convinced me to get on it and the entire time I was terrified. I was swearing up and down and I didn't even want to breathe. I told my husband not to move, not to touch me, not to breathe. I just wanted it to be over. I will never get on a regular Ferris wheel where it's like all open, like the ones at the carnival. Nope, not gonna do it. I hate heights. Next is I only have one sibling, which is my sister, and she is three years older than me. She lives back home in Florida. My next fact is I am lactose intolerant, and it sucks. I got it from my mom and my grandma. My grandmother and my mother are lactose, and they passed it along to me. They did not pass it along to my sister, but they sure did pass it along to me, and it sucks because I can't eat ice cream. They do have like lactose-free ice cream, and they do have like pills you can take before you eat any type of dairy but I feel like the pills really don't help me out much. But yeah, I can't eat ice cream. I can't have like whole milk. I can't have like extra cheese on food. Like I can have um, pizza and tacos and stuff that have cheese on it. I just can't ask for extra cheese because that's when my stomach will hurt really bad. And then I also can't have like queso cheese, which I love queso cheese, but I just can't have it. I can maybe have like one or two bites, but it sucks, yeah. I'm lactose and I hate it. Next is I have severe scoliosis. Um, my scoliosis is so bad that when I got my epidurals with my kids, it took two doctors to be able to give me my epidural because my scoliosis is that severe. My next fact is I survived flipping in a car three times. I was in a car accident, I believe when I was about 20 years old and me and my friend flipped in the car three times. We weren't wearing our seatbelt and we both ended up in the back seat and we survived the car accident. I actually did a story time on that car accident. I will link it down below for you guys if any of you guys are interested in seeing it if you have not already. So yes, I was in a really bad car accident, but I survived. Next fact is I'm addicted to ice. It is the worst habit and the worst for my teeth. My dentist is always telling me to stop eating ice. But for some reason, I'm just so addicted to ice. I will always eat ice. If I'm out in public, like at a restaurant, I usually try to hold back and not eating the ice. 
but if I'm like home or in my car or something, I will be chomping on ice. And like I said, it's a really bad habit that I'm trying to get out of, but I've always been like that. I don't know why. And then I'm also really obsessed with like Sonic ice, like the little nugget ice. Those are like the best ice ever. I actually bought an ice machine that makes those nugget ice and it just makes my ice addiction so much worse. Next fact is my hometown is Orlando, Florida. I lived there for 20 years and that is where I grew up and went to school at. Next fact is my longest friendship is with my childhood best friend, Melissa. Love you, girl. We have been friends for 28 years and counting. We met when we were three years old and we are now 31 years old. So we've been friends for 28 years. Next fact is I cannot sleep with doors open, whether that is my closet door or my room door. I just cannot sleep with doors open. I have to have them closed. I just, I don't know why. I just feel like someone is standing there and watching me and it creeps me out. And yes, I have to close all the doors in my room. There's three doors in my room. There's a door to enter my room and then there's my closet door and then there's my bathroom door. And all those doors have to be closed in order for me to sleep. I can't blow dry my hair for the life of me. I suck at it. I've tried so many times to blow dry my hair and I just can't get it right. Usually if I straighten my hair, I will wash it. I will let it air dry and then I will run the straightening iron. But blow drying is just not going to happen for me. I give up on that. My next fact, a few of you guys might judge me on this, but I hate pumpkin spice, the flavor of pumpkin spice. I've just never gotten into it. I just don't like the taste of it for some reason. I've tried so many different things that were pumpkin spice and I just can't get on it. I love the scent of pumpkin spice. I will buy candles and wax melts, hand soaps, cleaners of pumpkin spice. I love the scent. My house will smell like pumpkin spice for the fall season, but as far as buying things that are flavored pumpkin spice, I just can't do. Next is I am always cold. Whether it is summer, spring, or winter, I am always cold. And I usually always have a sweatshirt on in the house because my husband keeps our house like an igloo. And he's always complaining that I'm saying I'm always cold, but I'm just seriously always cold. Next fact is I got my tubes tied. So I have two kids and after my second C-section, I did get my tubes tied. So no more kids for us. Next fact is I have seven piercings. I used to have eight, but now I only have seven. So I have three on this ear, then I have three on this ear. And then I also have my belly button pierced, which I should probably take out. I got my belly pierced when I was 16 years old and I am now 31. So that should probably come out, but I do have my belly button pierced. And then I used to have up here my cartilage pierced, but I ended up taking it out. So I have seven piercings. My next fact is I have one tattoo and it is like on my side by my hip. It is two hearts and it is one heart for my sister and then the other heart is for myself. Next is I love gummies. I'm obsessed with fruit snacks and gummies. The worst for your teeth, but ever since I was younger, I've just loved fruit snacks. I'll buy fruit snacks for my kids and I end up eating it. I just have an obsession with fruit snacks and gummies. Next is I am a tall girl. I'm a little over 5'8", so growing up, I was always the tallest friend, the tallest girl, and I also always struggled trying to buy pants because pants were always high waters on me. And to this day, I still struggle with getting pants that are high waters on me, but I am a tall girl. Next is going to be, I've always struggled with weight loss issues. Ever since I was a little girl, I've just been obsessed with my weight and wanting to be and look skinny and being scared of being overweight or too big or people judging me. I would say about two years ago is when it probably got the worst. I got so obsessive with my weight. I got all the way down to 109 pounds. And like I said, I am a little over 5'8", so 109 pounds is not healthy. It is very unhealthy and super skinny. I had a lot of family and friends telling me that I was too skinny, that I needed to gain weight, and that I just looked unhealthy and skinny. And when I looked in the mirror, I didn't see that. I just saw something completely different. So anytime someone would try to tell me something about my weight that I needed to gain weight, I would get really mad and upset about it and it would just put me in a darker hole. It took me a while to realize that I was just unhealthy and way underweight. I think it was a picture that I had found. I was going through pictures and I found a picture of when my sister was about to get married and we went um, dress shopping and all her bridesmaids, I was the matron of honor, all of her bridesmaids, her maid of honor, and then me, the matron of honor, we went to try on dresses. And I found a picture of myself trying on a dress and I just looked at it and thought I looked way too skinny.
And it took me a while. Like I said, I had a lot of family and friends telling me that I was super skinny and needed to gain weight and I looked unhealthy, but I just never saw it until probably months later, almost a, or even almost a year later that I looked back at that picture and realized that I needed to gain weight. So yes, I've struggled with weight loss issues. Um, comment down below if you guys would like me to do a story time. I've only done maybe like three story times here on my channel. That was one topic that I thought about filming my weight loss issues and what I struggled with and what I still do struggle with. But I don't know if it's something you guys would be interested in. I also don't know how I would be able to get through the video because it is a little emotional. But just comment down below and let me know if you guys would be interested in me filming that video. Because if it can help someone else out, then I will definitely film that for you guys. Next is going to be I am allergic to cats. I'm not a cat person anyway, so I don't mind being allergic to cats. But I am really allergic to cats. If I get around any cats, my eyes will get super red and like jelly. My nose will get congested. I can't breathe. I'm like coughing. It's really bad. So I'm allergic to cats, but I don't mind because I'm not a cat person. Next is going to be I hate cleaning, but I love organizing. For some reason, I find organizing to be so therapeutic and I actually enjoy organizing. But when it comes to cleaning, I hate it. But I can organize my entire house in one day and actually enjoy it and find it very therapeutic. Next is going to be when I was in elementary school, I believe I was in fourth grade, me and a friend were almost kidnapped. The guys actually grabbed us and were trying to throw us in their car, but thankfully we were able to fight them off and they ended up driving off. So if that's another story time that you guys would like me to tell you guys about, about the time that me and my friend were almost kidnapped when we were in fourth grade, then I'll leave it in the comments and I will definitely let you guys know about that story. Next is going to be my two dream places to visit on my bucket list is Greece and Paris. Of course, I have a lot of other places that I would love to visit and um, explore, but I would say Paris and Greece is on the top list of my list of places to go. Next is going to be that I've lived in four different states. I was born in Bronx, New York. I lived there until I was three years old. And then when I was three, I moved to Orlando, Florida, and I lived there until I was 23. So I lived there for 20 years. And then I moved to Maryland when I was 23. I lived in Maryland for almost three years. And then now I am in Georgia and we have been here in Georgia for a little over four years. Next is going to be I love wine, whether it is a red wine or a white wine, I love it. And I try not to drink it often, but I'm not going to lie, I have it probably at least twice a week. Next is going to be I suffer with anxiety. I was actually diagnosed with anxiety last year, so it's something that is still pretty new to me. I've always suspected that I had anxiety, but I've never had an actual diagnosis by a doctor until last year. And then my last and final fact is that I also love lemonade. I do drink a lot of water. I'm really good when it comes to drinking water, but if I'm not going to drink water, my other choice of drink other than coffee, obviously, and wine would be lemonade, either lemonade that is like pre-made lemonade or lemon water. And I don't put any sugar in my lemon water. If I make lemon water, I know a lot of people think it's bitter, but I can put like an entire lemon in a glass of water and I love it. So maybe I'm just obsessed with lemons. I don't know, but I love lemon water and lemonade. Okay guys, so that is going to end my 30 random facts about myself. Really hope I didn't ramble on too much and I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know me a little better. I love these types of videos because you get to know the person a little more and you might be able to learn something that you never knew before. So thank you so much to Gina for tagging me in this 30 random facts video. Like I said, I am going to link her channel and also her videos down below so you guys can head over to her channel and check her out. Now I'm going to tag three of my friends here on YouTube. The first person is going to be Chanel Angelina. The second person is going to be Carrie Murphy. And the third and last person is going to be Candace Halligan. So I hope you girls make this 30 random fact videos about yourself because I would love to learn a little more about you guys. I love all the girls that I just tagged. I watch their videos a lot and I'm subscribed to them. So definitely go check all of their channels out as well and subscribe if you enjoy their videos. And also remember to check out Gina's channel. Again, thank you so much, Gina, for tagging me in this 30 random facts video. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel if you have not already and turn on your notification bell so you will be notified anytime I do upload a new video. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.